Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman. It's time for another unboxing. The folks from Motorola let us borrow their Motorola One Action Phone. Uh, this is a lower cost device. It's under 300 bucks, at least it is on Amazon. And it's, uh, you know, one of these phones that offers a lot of features for a relatively low price. And we're going to have a full review of this soon on my main channel at lon.tv. And today we're just going to do the unboxing. So let's have a look at what we've got in the box here. Uh, so this is the phone itself, and this is a review loaner. So we're going to be sending this back to Motorola when we're done with it. It's gonna pull the little screen protector off of it here. It's got a case already on it, and it feels like the case can come off pretty easily. It's got a pretty wide footprint, a pretty long footprint here. And I'm not sure if the battery is even charged on this. So there it goes. So we'll boot it up and see how it looks. Actually, the display is really sharp on this thing. It looks almost like a OLED, it must be OLED. Really, it looks nice. One of the things I've liked about the Motorola phones over the years is that they tend to work with all carriers, and this US version will. Um, so they had one on Amazon that's for the Latin American market. Uh, this is the North American one, and it will work with all the major US carriers. And you don't have a little camera notch because there's a little camera hole there in the corner, and we'll get that set up at some point in the near future. Three cameras here on the back, and I believe it's got a wide angle lens as one of those along with a flash and a fingerprint reader. Pretty cool looking device. So that's the phone part. Let's have a look and see what else is in the box here. Uh, we get our Motorola charger, a USB charger. I believe this supports fast charging, so we'll explore that in the full review. And here is our USB-C cable for charging. So we've got some work to do on this one. We've got to get it set up and operating here. Let's take a look at the ports before we go uh, too much further here. So we've got on the bottom here a USB Type-C port. Uh, there's another notch here which looks like a microphone notch and not a headphone jack. So uh, at least on the bottom here it looks like you've just got uh, your standard port there. Speaker right here. It doesn't look like it's stereo though. There's only one speaker. Uh, we've got another notch here for what looks like another microphone. Over here is your headphone jack. So you do have the traditional headphone jack on this one. And there you go. What it doesn't support are those little uh, booster packs that Motorola has made for some of their other phones. So if you have some of those devices, they're not going to work with this particular model, but it's pretty cool. And for the price point, it's got some pretty decent specifications. This one has 128 gigs of storage. It has four gigabytes of RAM, which is nice in a lower cost phone. Uh, it's got a lot of cameras, as you saw here at the outset. So the front camera is 12 megapixels, 2.0 aperture. Uh, it does 4K 30 frames per second video recording. Again, we'll have uh, footage in the main review when we do that, so stay tuned. On the back, you've got a 12 megapixel camera at a 1.8 aperture, and then it's got an ultra wide, which is 16 megapixels, 2.2 aperture with 117 degree coverage. And then it's got another one, a depth camera at five megapixels, and it looks like you can do 4K 30 recording out the back on all of those lenses. Although I think, we'll have to test it, but I think you probably only get access to two of those for video on the back. Uh, processor on this one is a Samsung chipset, an Exynos 9609. That is a Cortex uh, A73 and A53 combo. So they've got kind of a low powered core or a couple of low powered cores and higher powered cores. We see that on a lot of other phones. Uh, so I'm eager to try this out and see exactly how it stacks up, but it feels like a pretty decent value for, again, what you're getting here. Uh, one SIM card slot, though, but here in the U.S. it works across all carriers. So it looks like good compatibility, good price, nice, unique, long 6.3-inch display, too. So we got more to come on this one on the main channel soon with the full review, so stay tuned. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including gold-level supporters, the Four Guys with Quarters podcast, Tom Albrecht, Rajesh, Logic GR, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more.
And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv s.